Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, let's take a look at Palantir stock. So we'll do technical analysis and let's see what can we expect from Palantir now moving forward. What are the key levels and which direction this thing may go and to where, right? So let's cover all that good stuff, guys. So with that, please remember none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. If you can please hit the like and subscribe as well, that will be amazing already. So to start it off, we have what? Well, this has been testing recent all time highs, which is at the level of $20, $20 $20.23 to be specific. Now, is this going to keep going up from here or is it going to do some cool off? Well, we are though across the multiple intervals, we are bullish. And our strength, though, is a little bit slowing down across multiple intervals. And then on the four hours, it's just 1.6 now, which is still quite good for a stock like Palantir, which, which moves like two to a dollar or two. The thing is that as soon as it starts, all of them start getting close to zero and we break critical level to the downside, then a cool off may trigger. However, if we break $20.20 to 26 cents to the upside. Let's cover some of the important levels that we might be getting into. But before that, all right. So first, what I want to do with you guys is actually take a look at if there has been any insider trading on Palantir lately. Well, this is on my Discord channel. I don't see any bot alert, at least for now, that shows me any Palantir insider trading. But anyways, that could be searched as well. Any upgrades and downgrades on Palantir? today no well that's fine and then let's see if we have any news on palantir real quick so we have been having a lot of news and i'm only covering this the uh there a lot of other stocks but i don't see any uh, special news on palantir guys uh, but again i can just use the search function on my discord as well but yeah i don't see any today for the palantir latest news now what I just went over with you is guys my discord channel where I have multiple things happening right I have Wall Street alerts that comes automatically there and what that is is a part of silver membership and that is the Wall Street alerts that gives you the price targets from Wall Street's uh, real-time alerts upgrades and downgrades alerts insider trading alerts news and sentiment alerts um, and all that stuff. So that's the part of silver membership and with bronze is the part of my indicators universal and stock watch and So universal indicator is what you see on my chart as well that I use here that consists of the dashboard the automatic levels all across the intervals of monthly daily or key important levels the intraday levels daily level trading levels as well we will cover all of that in this video and if this is some a short volume percent as well and a lot of good stuff that my indicator covers that you know is all in the settings here you can adjust all these settings but anyways if this is something interests you um feel free to join my one of the memberships the link to that is in the description below of this video and that will be the patreon link you will find more information there all right coming back to palantir here now i was talking about what is the, if we break above the level of 20 dollars and 26 cents where could we be heading so let me change some settings on the dates here with my uh, indicator and what that is is going back at least to the uh, time range that would have one of the previous price actions where some something has occurred right so now i set that timeline and you can see that if palantir now breaks above 20 dollars and 23 cents it has room to run up to 23 dollars and after that, $24 and pretty much $25 and then $27. So these are the upside levels on Palantir that we need to be watching as if we continues to squeeze up. But remember, we just don't go straight up in this one line and we don't come down straight in one line. We, there are always pullbacks along the ways. And is Palantir setting up for one pullback here? Let's start covering some of the things on the hourly interval for that. So now we are on our hourly interval with Palantir and let's talk about a few things. So that recent high is where Palantir is finding some resistance. Now 
with palantir guys though it's it's technically bullish okay there is nothing to look for on the downside with palantir right now on the swing side with palantir you can even follow this trend line so which is very closely coinciding with this 50 hours moving average if this trend line keeps holding guys we will squeeze out of this 20 dollars uh, and 26 range 20 sorry 20 dollars and 20 20 dollars and 26 cents range now however anytime if we break this trend line that is a little bit of inclination to the cool off and also any break below 19 dollars and 18 cents can also give some cool off to the downside to palantir but anyways whichever direction you trade always have your stop losses but these are the important critical areas where you would want to take your position with the stop loss on the other side so that your profits rewards can be maximized and losses can be minimized so that's what is to be that's how you have to trade okay there's nothing guaranteed in stock market we have to trade with the price action analysis and with the stop loss on the other side okay now um as this is for the you know hourly interval now as if we go to the five minutes interval and there you will see also my day trading levels so let's see today the sentiment around it so you can see that um that was yeah so we have been finding some support at one of this critical levels of our day trading levels and this is what i always say that you have to see the price action around these levels so you can see that when price tried to hold support here for quite long time we did snap out of that level we went to our next level and then started finding support at that next level right we came down but found support here so if you are an average cost trader throughout the day you can average cost around these important key levels right and that's also the way you can you know potentially trade right so but anyways this is something i always recommend that uh trade around these important levels guys because this is how you can maximize your profits and you know you're not going in blind and you can um you know minimize your um uh, stop losses right so that's pretty much the game is right so yeah guys technically palantir is still in an uptrend cool off as i just went over the levels and the trend line that may possibly come if that happens if that breaks we are in the important level of any double top or rejection that has to come has to happen here and that may give first a cool off and then the break off structure that we just talked about then you follow that break off structure to the downside but right now there is no break off structure price action is only showing the bullishness and upside on palantir all righty guys this was all for this video very quick palantir catch up and if you are interested on the my discord alerts of the wall streets and then also my indicators feel free to join the membership the link is down below and i'll see my next video with tesla nvidia and a lot of other good stuff on important indices all right take care guys bye